This guide shows you what to do if you're getting this awful sound on your Fire TV stick or your Fire TV cube. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, if you're getting this horrible sound on your Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube, what do you do? Now, you may notice that obviously you can't hear anything. If I go into a video, the sound just gets even worse. It just gets louder. You can't make out what anyone's saying. So what is it? What is causing that sound? I'm just going to turn the volume down there on that because it is really annoying, really frustrating, that sound. But uh, anyway, there is an easy fix to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through that now. So just go back to the main menu on the Fire TV stick or the Fire TV cube. Let's go to that. There we go. And then go across to the settings cog just over there on the right. Then go down to display and audio. Highlight that middle button and then go down to audio down there. Highlight that middle button and then go down to surround sound, middle button, okay. And what you wanna do is you wanna change this to something else. So first of all, try changing it to best available and hopefully that should restore the settings. So let's just see, yep, yeah, I'm just turning the volume up now. And yeah, I'm not getting that horrible noise anymore. If you want, you can try changing it to a different setting if that still doesn't work. So go back to display and audio, go into audio, go down to surround sound and ch try changing that to PCM say for instance. There we go. PCM, I'm actually getting sound on that now whereas best available, I wasn't getting the clicking noise when I change to different menus. You can also try Dolby Digital Plus but that is what actually caused the problem on mine, there you go, as you can see, as I've selected it again, the noise has come back. So let's just go back, let's try Dolby Digital. And Dolby Digital, oh, it's even worse. And that is because simply, I'm just using a standard TV with standard speakers. So that's quite expected if I'm not using a Dolby Digital device. So really the best thing to do is to try best available, first of all. And if you don't have a surround sound system that supports Dolby Digital Plus or Dolby Digital, then if best available doesn't work, try PCM. If you're still getting problems with the sound, then try restarting your Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube. And all you need to do to do that is just press and hold the play pause button and the center button on your remote control from the main menu, i.e. from this menu. So press the, the menu button first, the, the picture of the house, okay? And press and hold the play pause button and the center button in the center of the ring on the remote control and keep them held down. Just keep them held down until you see a message saying your Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube is powering off. Let it power off, power back on again and uh, see if that does the trick. If it does or it doesn't, let us know in the comments down below. If you found another way of fixing this problem, then likewise, please let us know in the comments down below. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, then why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some money. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.